Now I'm going to try and run through um, how a consultation might go in the surgery if um, I was talking to a patient about obesity and weight loss and one of the things that I always try and do is I try and explain the mechanism because I find if people understand the mechanism by which they've um, put on weight um, it's they just seem to do so much better so this is basically how it goes I start like this I say um, what are you eating now and inevitably people will say something like I have my uh, my wheat mix um, with some healthy fruit with some milk and um, with some sweetened yogurt for breakfast and then they have their muesli bar for lunch I'm oh, sorry the muesli bar for morning tea then they'll have um, a couple of sandwiches for lunch then they'll have a banana oh, banana for a snack and then they'll tell me they have their their meat their veg and their potatoes and then they'll tell me they have a milo and a biscuit for dinner so and I'll generally congratulate them because I'll say look you've obviously been listening to the information that's in the health guidelines you've been following the advice because this is low fat and this is um, high carb the problem is the guidelines are just hundred percent wrong so everything that you've learnt up to now you just have to accept the exact opposite of it because what I'm going to tell you is the exact opposite of everything that you've learnt so we're going to um, change your diet and we're going to increase the amount of fats but healthy fats and I'm going to I redefine for them what healthy fat means so a healthy fat is a natural fat so a healthy fat is a natural fat so um, get away from this concept of saturated and unsaturated a healthy fat is a natural fat so like the, um, the fat on the meat is healthy the butter is healthy but we're staying away from things like margarine is gone and vegetable oil is gone so we're getting rid of these industrial fats and we're sticking to the healthy ones the protein absolutely fine we're, we're sticking with the, the protein and the amounts that we're currently having so we're sticking with our meat fish chicken we're sticking with our vegetarian sources of protein such as um, such as tofu we're happy with all of that but the problem is the carbs okay and basically everything that this patient is eating is a carb so we're trying to get rid of the carbs so I tell people that carbohydrates are just sugar molecules all joined together and when you digest them you break these bonds and they become blood sugar and insulin insulin's the key so insulin's the fat controller insulin's the key to understanding obesity and all these other chronic health conditions so insulin is monitoring the amount of blood sugar and the blood sugar gets there because of the carbohydrates we eat and then the liver becomes involved so that's a very um, accurate picture of the liver and the blood sugar goes into the liver and what we want to happen is we want it to reform into carbohydrate and we want it to become muscle glycogen and if this is all that happened then we would be in a nice balanced state but that's not all that happens because we're eating too much carbohydrate and what happens is that extra carbohydrate is turned into fat and this process is called de novo lipogenesis so that means so de, no, de novo means within the body and lipo means fat and genesis means to make so de novo lipogenesis the manufacture of new fat and that's the problem because that fat has to go somewhere and where it goes is it gets transported into the fat cells and basically their job is to contain the fat 
So this extra fat, which makes up 85% of the fat in our blood, comes from this process of de novo lipogenesis, and it goes there into the fat cells. And the problem is, when the insulin levels are high, it gets trapped in there. This is the whole key to understanding this. The fat gets trapped inside the fat cells and it can't get out again. And that's because your triglyceride is made up of a glycerol backbone and then there's three fatty acid chains that hang off it. And that's too big to get across the wall. So it gets broken down by an enzyme called lipase. And lipase breaks it down into the glycerol backbone and the three fatty acids and then they can get into the cell and inside the cell it gets formulated again back into a triglyceride. The problem is that you need another enzyme to break that down to get it out again and that's called hormone sensitive lipase. Big problem. High levels of insulin caused by eating too much carbohydrate completely turn off hormone sensitive lipase. So what happens? The fat is stuck in there. So even if you eat less, if your insulin levels are still high, the fat can't get out. It's stuck in there. This is the whole problem. Eating too much carbohydrates causes hyperinsulinemia and it means that the fat is stuck in there. As soon as you bring insulin down, down, you turn on hormone sensitive lipase, it turns that triglyceride into its individual components, it can get out of the cell, back into the blood, and it can be used by the body um, as a fuel. So it's all to do with insulin, hyperinsulinemia and insulin resistance. It's all to do with the fat getting stuck inside the fat cell, and it's all to do with insulin turning off hormone sensitive lipase and trapping it in there. That's what I tell to every person who's overweight, and people seem to get that information, they understand, and they realize that they can't carry on eating all these carbohydrates that they were eating before. And I then just go on and um, suggest some alternative meals, some simple alternative meals like an omelet for breakfast. I tell them they won't need to snack at morning tea. I suggest they might have a chicken salad at lunchtime. They won't need their banana. I suggest that they have their meat and veggies without the potatoes and they're not going to need the Milo and Biscuit at the end. And this really works. And with this, we've now had, I checked out the weight loss of the first 100 patients and they lost weight at 1.2 kilograms per week on average. So just doing that with patients, nothing more, not a whole lot of information, not a whole lot of support. We didn't spend any money. This is all I do with people and they get it and they lose weight.